Are link shorteners bad? Well, the short answer is no, but the long answer, let me explain. Considering that businesses are sharing hundreds, if not thousands of links on the web per day, it is no wonder the use of link shorteners have grown in popularity. Popular link shorteners include Bitly, Rebrandly, and the recently retired Google, Google, rest in peace. Many link shortening tools use shared domains, which can actually hurt your link quality. Generic short links can be hard to trust because there's no telling what the destination URL is and you cannot be sure who created it. It may be hackers or spammers, oh no. This is exactly why using generic URL shorteners can in fact be bad for you. As a marketer using shared domain shorteners puts your links at risk of getting blacklisted by ISPs and even some social media sites. This can be detrimental to your business. So what's the solution? A custom branded URL. Not only can using your own domain be safer, it also helps you to build up your brand and equity. Branding is very important in this noisy world, wouldn't you say? Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Kelly, custom links are longer and thus defeat the purpose of short name. Not exactly. You do not have to use your website's domain to have a custom URL shortener. For example, my website is stellarmediamarketing.com, kind of long, but I use a short link like stellar.tips and stellar247.media far shorter, but still has my brand aesthetic. Personally, I use Rebrandly for my custom branded URL shortening needs. Let me tell you a couple of the key reasons why it is such a great tool, and then I'll show you how easy it is to use. You can add your own custom domain, making it yours and yours alone. That's right, for those of you with siblings, you don't have to share here and get risk being blacklisted. Rebrandly is very affordable and easy to scale. You can start with a free account and get 5,000 clicks tracked, then go up to the pro account from there. You can have more than one custom domain. So for those of you who are managing other clients, or if you want a short link for a plethora of brands, clients, or projects, that's gonna save you. You get reporting to see how your links are performing and where visitors are coming from so that you know what's working and what's not. You can change the destination of your links on the fly with no issues whatsoever. I know this as a fact because I do it all the time. There are just so many positives to having your own custom branded leak shortener. Check out rebrandly.com forward slash pricing to get the full list of prices and features. I've also linked it down below. Now let me jump on to Rebrandly really quickly and give you a tour of the dashboard and how easy it is to create a short link. The cool thing about Rebrandly obviously is I'm going to take really long URLs and I'm going to shorten them. So let's say I want to take this URL here or better yet, since it is a file in Google Drive, I'm going to go down here and we're going to copy the super long link. We don't want to share that link out into the world because it's just too long. So I'm gonna to go to Rebrandly. And once you sign up for Rebrandly, this is the landing page. This is where all your links are. I have hundreds of links and you can certainly filter them and look for sorting and all that good stuff. But we're gonna create a link and all I have to do is click on this blue button. We're just gonna put that long link. You're gonna see how long that is, this long link right here. Then just go down here where you'll select your URLs. You can see I have a couple of URLs that I use. We'll do this stellar.tips and then you have your tag. Now you can choose to do any tag you want as long as it hasn't been used for this particular domain before. So I could say notes 13 and we'll be good to go. Now another cool feature, which I don't actually use very often, is you could go over here to the settings and you can change the suggestion for how they give you a tag. Uh, obviously you just saw you can change it however you want, but if you want, for instance, SEO friendly, I could just say for now on, I want you to do SEO friendly and you'll see it does that right here. Now again, I'm just gonna keep it short with mine, customize it how I want, and then we're gonna click on create the link. 
Now that the link is created, I can go in here and I can star it to make it one of my favorites. I can visit it to make sure it's where I want it to go. I can make a copy of it and go and share it out. I could click here to share. I have a QR code. I can completely delete it and I can also go to add options. I can add notes. I could add tags. You can upgrade and also do deep links, traffic routing, retargeting, all that good stuff. I don't have that in my account right now. So there you go. So now I can actually take this link right here and just click copy and now I'm sharing it wherever I'm sharing it. Now another thing to note is uh, all about the reports. I can actually, let's go down to this link right here, my show notes from episode 11. You can see here I had 160 people click on that. So I actually want to click on this and it's going to open up the reporting for this specific link and I can go through and I could see where are people kind of linking in from what days is it most popular thursday makes sense because my view on my live show where i share this is on thursday where are they coming from the top sources all the good stuff are they on desktop smartphone this is really helpful if you are going to be using deep linking for instance what platforms are they using the top browsers that they're in and all that good stuff so i can go in here and i can get those reports which is awesome now in terms of another place to get reports. You can go over here and this is actually going to show you kind of your overall reporting for everything for your full account. You can also do it by tags, by domains. So I could say, well, I just want for, let's go to this one right here, stellar tips. How has that one been doing and where are those people coming from? The other thing you might want to know is domains. How do you add the domains? Well, I have a couple of domains here. It's really easy to add. You can see here, these managed ones are domains that I actually purchased through Rebrandly's platform. These other three are external. These are some that I brought in from GoDaddy or wherever I purchased them, but I'm just going to go to new domain. It's going to tell me right here that I can only have so many domains if I am on this account. So I'll say, nope, that's fine. I agree. Now I'm going to look up a domain. We want something short, right? So let's say Kelly K N M. There we go. Something's coming up. So it's going to show me what's available. Obviously knm.com is not available, but the idea here is we want things that are really, really short, as short as possible. So even like knm.link would be a decent one or .live, look, it's only $2. I can add that to my cart and I can start utilizing that as soon as it processes. All right, so that's how you add your domains. And then there's also apps that you can tie into. You could use the browser extension, which I have right here. And it works just like that. It's gonna basically take whatever you're at and automatically shorten that link. There you have it. I love using Rebrandly and I'm happy to share this tool and all the tools that I use all the dang time with you. If you want to learn more about the other marketing and business tools that I use, how I create content on the fly and how I run my social media company and my content creation business, be sure to subscribe to the channel. New videos, every week. Also, be sure to join the Baby Got Content Facebook group where I share even more tips, more resources, more tools, and answers to your digital and content marketing questions. Just go to the link I've put down below. I've also placed it in the comments and I pinned it for your easy convenience to click through and join. I hope to see you over there. Thank you so much for watching. Now get out there and start creating.